Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today is the day we are making gluten-free fried donuts. We've already done the baked donuts. If you want to check out that recipe, you can find it up here. But today we are deep frying them and filling them. In my recipe today, I fill my donuts with pastry cream. So we're gonna do a super simple recipe to make some pastry cream as well. And you can pretty much make these donuts into any shape you want. So I'll show you a couple of my favorite shapes, but you can really get creative with it. This recipe today should be basically cupboard things except for one ingredient. Just like the baked donuts, we're using sweet rice flour again. You can't make it without it, so I would definitely recommend getting your hands on it. You can normally find it in your local international supermarket. I know even some organic stores carry sweet rice flour. I just get mine off Amazon, but it is very necessary. The sweet rice flour gives it this beautiful, soft, squishy, glutinous almost texture that is definitely irreplaceable in this recipe. Equipment wise, we don't need anything too crazy. We're not using a deep fryer. I'm just frying in a frying pan. You'll need a saucepan to make the pastry cream and a piping nozzle would be super useful as well. Oh, I forgot to say, I'm making pastry cream for these donuts, which I absolutely love and think they make them so delicious and so gooey and yummy. But if you don't wanna use pastry cream, that's absolutely fine. You could fill these with jam, you could fill these with fresh whipped cream, you could even fill this with Nutella if you like. Really, it's up to you, donuts are like that. But for the purpose of this recipe, we're going to jump into making the pastry cream first. This is just because it needs to sit in the fridge while we cook the donuts. So, First up, let's check out what we need for the pastry cream. But just before we jump into it, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see loads more gluten-free recipes just like this one. For the pastry cream today, we need 250 ml of milk, half a teaspoon of vanilla paste or vanilla essence, 30 grams of chopped chocolate, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two egg yolks, and one tablespoon of caster sugar. You may have noticed that my hair is finally up. I've got to the point where I've accepted it's too long for baking, so it's finally getting tied up. But I will be getting the chop soon, probably about to hear. It's just getting such a pain. Anyway, so a pastry cream. If you've never made pastry cream before, never fear. It might seem a little bit scary, but it's actually a really easy process once you know what you're doing. I would suggest watching this first before you give it a go yourself, so I can point out some areas where it might go a little bit haywire. So I'm just going to explain everything now and I will overlay the footage of it happening because I cannot talk and make pastry cream at the same time. The process is actually really fast and multitasking is hard. <laughs> so a quick note that I wanted to make first is that I'm using this lovely vanilla paste. It's got a beautiful texture. It's probably the closest you can get without actually having a vanilla pod yourself. You can of course use vanilla extract but I would suggest using a really high quality one because the flavor of the vanilla in your pastry cream is really important, so the nicer the vanilla extract, the nicer the flavor of the pastry cream will be. The first thing we're going to do is combine the milk and the vanilla paste in a saucepan over a medium heat. We're gonna stir that gently while it comes to the boil. At the same time, in a separate bowl, we're going to mix together the egg whites, the corn flour, and the sugar until it forms a paste and we'll pop that to the side while the milk is coming to a gentle boil. Once the milk has come to a gentle boil, this is the only part that can get quite tricky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour half the milk mixture into the egg mixture, but we're going to be mixing while we do that to temper the eggs. Tempering the eggs means we're going to bring them to the same temperature as the milk, because otherwise they might scramble and that is not ideal for this recipe. This is really the only part you can properly mess up. All other parts can really be fixed, but you've got to make sure you are stirring that egg mixture vigorously while you're pouring in the hot milk. Once you've poured in half the hot milk, we're going to pour the egg mixture back into the pan and mix while we're heating it back up to a very gentle boil. Once your pastry cream has thickened, you've now got a choice whether you want to make a chocolate pastry cream, a vanilla pastry cream, or a mixture of both. For this recipe today, I'm doing a mixture of both. So I'm putting half the pastry cream in a bowl and the other half I'm leaving in the saucepan and folding in that chopped chocolate until it's nice and incorporated and you've got a beautiful chocolate pastry cream. Then I'll put the chocolate pastry cream in a bowl as well. Let it cool down just a little bit and then I'm gonna put clad wrap over both of them. This will stop it from forming skin and then popping it in the fridge to chill while we make our donut mixture. 
and that's that that's pastry cream it's super quick the only point as I mentioned that you can mess up is if you accidentally scrambled the eggs if you get to the end and you haven't scrambled the eggs but you find that there are a little bit of lumps from the milk burning no worries you can just push that pastry cream through a sieve it'll be nice and smooth and no one will ever know and that's your pastry cream now we can move on to the donuts for the donuts today you will need 80 grams of gluten-free flour 80 grams of rice flour a pinch of salt quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum, a teaspoon of baking powder, 10 mils of vegetable oil, 70 mils of milk, and two egg whites. To fry the donuts in today, I'm using about a litre of sunflower oil. To prepare, I've got a large bowl and a sieve. I'm also gonna prepare a baking tray lined with baking paper. They're not obviously going in the oven, they're actually going in the freezer to harden before we fry them. Pretty much, it's a super easy one bowl recipe. We're going to sift in all the dry ingredients, plop in the wet ingredients, mix it all together it will form a very sticky dough so I would recommend using a spatula instead of a whisk this time let's sift in the gluten-free flour actually that was the sweet rice flour the gluten-free flour xanthan gum baking powder and I forgot to mention in the start there's actually a tablespoon of sugar in this as well whoa gently mix that to combine lovely then we're adding in the milk egg whites the oil there we go okay this mixture is actually going to go into a piping bag because it will be much easier to shape So this mixture will make eight small donuts or four large ones. Today I'm gonna go for four large ones. And I'm doing them in two different shapes. I'm gonna do some long ones and I'm gonna do some circles. All right, it's hard to do this leading over so I'm gonna try my best. Let's ignore that first one. Just like this. So these do, at the moment, look absolutely hideous but we will be shaping them. Now I'm just going to work my fingers and shape them a bit better. So these will puff up when they're deep fried so you can make them quite flat. Here we go! Looking a little bit better. Right, apologies for my absolutely awful piping skills there. The camera was in the way, it was a bit of a funny angle but we've flattened them now. They can be quite flat because when they fry, they will puff up a bit. Right, I'm just going to chuck these straight in the freezer. I don't need to cover them because they're only going to be in there for 10 minutes. So I'm going to put them in now. While they are in the freezer, I'm actually going to heat up my oil because the oil takes about the same amount of time to heat up. The donuts don't need to be completely submerged in the fryer, they need to be at least half submerged. So a couple of centimetres of oil is okay. For a pan the size of this, it does take about a litre of sunflower oil, but you can reuse it afterwards because it stays pretty clean. The temperature that it needs to be set at on my induction stovetop is 6. I'm not entirely sure what that is in terms of temperature, but I'll look it up and I'll pop it up here. But it is not as hot as like a regular deep fryer. And because I want to wear this shirt out to lunch later, I'm going to put on this apron just in case the oil gets me. Also, of course, it goes without saying, we are dealing with hot oil here, so be incredibly careful. Oil's feeling ready to go. I'm just going to grab the donuts. Donuts are also feeling good to go. Oh, that's cold. I only like to cook a couple of donuts at a time. And while I am cooking the donuts, I'll put them back in the freezer so they can stay a little bit harder, a little bit easier to move from the tray into the oil.
So that's the fun part done. Here's our wee little fried donuts. I'm just gonna let these cool a little bit before cutting into them. Um, and also I've removed my oil from the heat. If you are going to reuse your oil, make sure you cool it down before pouring it back into the plastic bottle. Otherwise it might melt. Yeah, so you can really see how much they puffed up in the frying pan. So they're only about a centimeter thick and now look at them, massive. We can also go ahead and prepare our pastry cream by popping it in some parking bags. I'm gonna do that now. And here are our finished fried donuts with delicious vanilla and chocolate pastry cream. All that's left to do is try one. Mm. No more messing up on fried donuts for you gluten free people. Here is the result. The inside, soft, has that slight donutty chewiness. Outside's got a little bit of crispiness. Pastry cream, super chocolatey. What more could you want? <laughs> and let me show you what the inside of the filled one looks like. That's the inside of the filled one. Chocolate coming out both ends. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please let me know if you try it out for yourself. That would be amazing. You can find the written recipe in the description box below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like. That would be awesome. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.